Well, this has been a bit of a goal of mine for the Air Peninsula. Creating a lounge, having a fire on the beach. <laughs> goal achieved, eh? How good is this? Here they go, on, dude. Fire the easy way. G'day and welcome back to another episode. We're here on Palubi Beach. It's our first time taking the van on the beach. Palubi Beach has probably been one of our favorite camps of the EP. Well, I'm not gonna waffle on too much. I'm just gonna roll on with the episode and show you what we got up to while we're here at Palubi Beach. How good is that? Are we gonna go out for a fish today? See if we can't fill up the fridge with a bit of seafood? Hey, well, we got a load of shallow water to walk it out through, so let's get it going. Push! Push! No, not like that. Turn it around. One, two, wait for Owen. One, two, three, push! Or this way to turn that way. This way to turn that way. Can you drive us up to the end of that island there? Okay. I'm going to go and get the crab bags ready. Slowly, thank you. Call before you can walk. All right. The first thing we're gonna try while we're out here is putting in a few of these crab pots. We've got them loaded up with some King George whiting. Haven't had much success with them so far, but maybe today will be our lucky day. You wanna just drop that in, Mum? on that blue swimmer. Let it go. <laughs> All right, got him. There we go. Uh, don't point him at me. Uh, A lovely big uh, male blue swimmer crab. Uh, now to measure these guys, uh, can you just shush please Owen, okay? I'm not gonna put him on you. Okay, so to measure these guys down here, I picked up one of these measuring sticks. They need to be 11 centimeters from in here, the end of the first nook and the end of that nook. And this guy, well and truly a legal crab. Wow. Yay, crabs for dinner. <laughs> Go check the next trap. Never thought you'd be saying that, dear. All right, pull it up. Oh. oh, that guy is very tangled. Oh, there, man. I can't get him under. Oh. <laughs> oh, look at him. <laughs> he is cranky, boy. Cranky. Where boy or a girl? It's a boy. <laughs> he is very cranky. <sighs> Big one. <laughs> he looks so cranky. That. So bring it in close. It needs to be between this notch here and this notch here. And we're there by a good couple of centimeters. Two Yay. crabs for dinner? Yay, two crabs for dinner, lots and lots of crabbies. He's big. Wonder what the other one is. <laughs> Claws won't stay in. 
Ooh, he's cranky, cranky, cranky. Well done. <laughs> yeah, now I have crabs. <laughs> you know, you care the farmer to fix that. <laughs> went out in the boat and I caught crabs, Mel. <laughs> but you were with me, so how did I get crabs? Well, we both have crabs. <laughs> well, the squid don't seem to be playing the game today, so I think it's time to change tactic. Let's see if we can't catch a few King George whiting now. This is the secret weapon for whiting. Tried a few different burlies around here, but these all round the whiting nuts seem to really do a good job. Hey dear, where's the bait? Oh, where's the bait? Are you serious? <laughs> wow. Uh, wow. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> that needs to get it. All right. This is this is the rig that I'm using to catch whiting. It's just a simple little dropper rig, two hooks, little four-o bait holder hooks. Kaylee, are you going to catch the fish? Yeah. Go down. Yeah. That is what's eating our bait. Little Tommy Ruffs. I don't think we're in a very good spot for whiting here. We'll uh, put him back and find a new spot, huh? Fishing didn't go so good today, but we got crabs. <laughs> I'm holding a crab camera. And a couple in the bucket as well. So it's gonna be crab for dinner for me tonight. Yeah. What's that? Well, it got busy. <laughs> Saturday today, have a look at the beach. So we're gonna go for a walk out to the boat go for a cruise over to the island and see if we can't find a little slice of paradise to ourselves. Well, here we are, our own little slice of paradise. The path up there. Definitely got to go and see where that path leads, don't we, Kaylee? Yeah. Good morning. Where are we are? It's boring. The silence fades into the night. Coyotes sing at the moonlight. These open highways are calling our name, and now it's time for us to escape. Feel the wind touch our face. Let's take a spin to a foreign place. These open highways are calling our name, and now it's time for us to escape. Escape to a world we don't know. Escape into the great unknown. Escape to a world we don't know. Escape into the great unknown. Escape. We were just walking back to the boat and we have noticed that there is a whole load of razorfish here. Now I've always wanted to try a razorfish. You can eat them raw or you can cook them up. So I'm going to grab a couple and tonight we 
can get this out and show you. <laughs> Not as easy as it looks on TV. Come on. Okay, so that's the razor fish. So what we need to do is open them up and I'll show you which part of them it is that you're supposed to eat. Razor fish. Now, I believe what I do is I just stick my knife through here and cut the muscle that's holding the shell. Open it up. Now, all this stuff is junk. We're throwing all that out. big muscle, this is what we can eat. Just cut it off like this, you see? Well, this knife is a lot as hell, so... <laughs> That's it. The sun is setting, the fire pit has been extended and it's roaring. Let me get these crabs cooking and I'm going to cook up my razor fish in a little bit of uh, garlic and butter. So we're doing the crabs real simple. Is this the reason we've been carting this crab pot around for 10 months? Yes. <laughs> Finally get to use it. <laughs> just gonna boil it up in some, uh, boil them up just in some salt water. Just got a new cast iron four ring burner because none of the uh, cookers in the van give enough heat to really get this much water up to the boil. So yeah, we get this uh, salt water on a rolling boil. I'm gonna pop in three crabs. I have another bucket next to it. When the crabs have cooked for 10 minutes, I will transfer them to a bucket of cold salt water. Bring them down here, clean them up, and uh, enjoy my crabs. This is living, Barry. This is living. Ooh, on. Well, while this, while this water comes to the boil, Got a sunset happening over there, so I think I might drone the sunset and give you guys a good look at Paluby Beach as the sun is setting. How good was that sunset? And look, the new burner is working a treat. We've got all that water on a rolling boil. So it's time to get the crabs out of the fridge, pop them in and set a timer for 10 minutes. There they are there. Crabs into the cooker. All the way in, in close. That's not big enough. <laughs> That's 10 minutes. Out they come and into some cold salt water. How good does that look? All right, now to prepare the appetizer. 
and a little collection of razor fish. We've just got a little dollop of garlic, a little dollop of butter. There we go, we got the sizzle, the desired sizzle effect. And there's a little serving of razor fish. Mel's uh, not helping me tonight. She's just over here making friends with the neighbours. <laughs> Would you like to try a little bit of razor fish, dear? I will always try something. Doesn't mean I have to like it. Would you put it on? It's nice. Try a No, you can't. It's my entree. <laughs> All right, it's my turn. Mm. I'd describe it as a cross between a scallop and an oyster. It's not bad. Can't really see. It's very dark, bro. Very dark. <laughs> Put more wood on the fire. <laughs> there we go. Here's me, uh, Blue swimmer lollipop. Crab meat. <laughs> well, I'm gonna devour a few crabs. Hi guys. Well, we are leaving Streaky Bay. We are headed east towards Kimber. We're kind of glad to be leaving the beach behind for a while. We've left Overland Exposure back on Palumi Beach. Their plans were to travel west whilst our plans are now to start travelling east. We're heading to Kimber, which interestingly is geographically halfway across Australia. So we did make it past the halfway point across Australia, but now we're heading back east. We've spent about eight weeks here on the Air Peninsula and it's been absolutely amazing. But I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting a little bit tired of beaches and sand, believe it or not. So we're pretty keen for a scenery change. So thank you so much for watching this video series. Hope you've enjoyed it. I'll leave you with a little bit of footage of what we get up to in Kimber and we'll see you in the next video series. photo in front of the big galah. Yeah, it's a big thing. I want a photo in front of it. Another big thing photo for Another your big, big thing, thing album. Yeah. And there it is, halfway across Australia. We made it. We made it halfway <laughs> and now we're going back to the east coast. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. See you in the next one.